Hello, hello everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel, it's Marta here and today's project, as you can see, <laughs> will start a little bit different. I have uh, cardboard boxes after from Cornflakes, I'm gonna use them, which it doesn't matter, but I just want to show you that you can certainly work with your magic with whatever you have around. And I'm gonna cut that smaller, now you know what Cornflakes we love. <laughs> Not the healthiest option, those actually. We have the hel healthier too, but this one, <laughs> not so much. Uh, I don't need more, so I'm gonna cut, well, oh well, oh well. I just cut it this way. And I love the fact that I can just uh, keep my sides like this. I don't want to get rid of them. I'm glad that I have them so beautiful and they are just, I love them, just the way as they are. And I was thinking to maybe draw today, doodle maybe a face, I haven't done that for so long that it could be a total disaster or we may end up with something beautiful. I will start off by priming my cardboard. You can use that uh, with, you can use white gesso or you can use white acrylics, whatever you have around you. And if uh, you're thinking of kind of budgeting this whole project, a white acrylic will be fine as well. As you can hear, we have a little guest trying to enter the studio. <laughs> Look at those tutorials. I made those over two years ago. Some of them are three years old. Uh, that will tell you how a uh, long time ago I actually drew some face. So I had to look at my own tutorials to remind myself how to do it. So I'm gonna try and draw some face today. Some beautiful girl, I hope. I hope you will join me. So let's do it together. I have some charcoal set of uh, pencils. So I'm gonna use that. To start off, uh, we have to make, I'm gonna be a bit on this side maybe, I'm gonna make a, a, an oval, I'd say, an oval for the face. So we do an oval and we divide our face in half and like in four equal parts and then here and here. So that's line for the eyes, line for the nose, line for the mouth. I'm not uh, very much, I'm not trying to be very um, very um, dark here because this is only to help us guidelines, guidelines, lines. <laughs> uh, and this uh, kind of um, almond in the middle will tell us where to place our eyes. So here it is. I'm not sure if it's not too far. You know what, if she's gonna be wonky looking, I don't mind. I really don't mind because I just want to have fun and get back to drawing a little bit, you know? So, here it is. <laughs> then we have a nose. So we've done eyelids as well, as you can tell, slightly. And then we have the nose, up and down. Something like that. <coughs> mm -hmm. And then we have a mouth. Mouth. So those are just rough sketches really, guys. Maybe too small. I don't know. Maybe. <coughs> the funny noises are Lucas's noises. <laughs> I think he's gonna peel pot potatoes now for dinner. Good Lucas. <laughs> okay, and now, um, the probably the most common mistakes I'm going to show you. What people do when they do the eyes, it's like this. Let's say we have the, the eye and we have the eyelid. And what they do is they have this round circle here, which is a mistake because really if you look closely, we don't have eye like that. So we need to make like, like a part of the eye, it must be hidden mostly if we if we try to make it you know somehow somehow realistically realistic uh, will she go look in one direction hopefully mm -hmm. maybe like this <clears throat> something like that I like her already I have to say she's not too bad now it's time when you can uh, grab your um, grab your uh, rub rubber and just wash it off, clean it off a bit 
you don't need that and now if it's charcoal be very careful because charcoal it makes it very dirty so uh, instead of rubbing it off use some uh, use some um, pap uh, I'm lacking words today sorry use some brush mm -hmm, to clean it off wipe it off so you're not gonna smudge your face too much <coughs> now um, I think when you do the face the big important part of it is to do the shadowing I'm not great at it I'm just improvising I'll be honest <laughs> but you know what I'll, I'll chance it I'll see maybe <coughs> oh. she's not too bad mm -hmm. now we need some um, eyebrows you know every face is different but every face pretty much needs some eyebrows <laughs> I haven't painted a draw for two years over two years for definite um, I'm gonna be more straight here as well mm -hmm. and I have to tell you it's kind of challenging for me to <laughs> you know to be back to it but I love challenges and I, I, I know many of you have been asking for some drawing tutorial for some face tutorial for some art journaling tutorial with face so I think we should just do that so I hope you are drawing with me and as you could see I honestly haven't draw for two years or more uh, as you can see it's not difficult you just have to follow a few steps and I'm not using anything fancy except the cardboard so guys you know you could use a regular pencil as well HB pencil would work um, okay so that's her nose here we can make it a little bit darker here kind of-ish. i be honest, I watched my own tutorials when I put Hannah to bed and I was feeding her and putting her for a daytime nap now. I watched my own tutorials because I forgot how it is. So it's not that I, <laughs> you know, I don't remember those things myself. I, I think this eye is a little bit too much <laughs> wonky. Wonky, is that a good word or bad word? Wonky. Wonky, I think it's like, like, ooh, like wonky. <laughs> like wonky. Wonky is like wonky. Anyway. I can hear the potatoes being peeled, do you? <laughs> Time to do some eyes, some proper eyes, so... I really wish her to be eye, big-eyed. <laughs> big-eyed? Have big eyes, basically. And this charcoal is like a charcoal, so it's dirtying your page, so be very careful. Look at my hand, but that's okay, I don't mind. So I hope we're gonna journal around her maybe mm, decoupage around her. How is that? I think that would be nice. I think we could try to leave out this bit white maybe and then color it the rest or maybe one more bit out bit white like that. Why not? Okay. I think she looks sad but <clears throat> Well, if that's what she is, that's what she is. If she wants to be sad, it's her choice, you know? <laughs> okay. Oops, I just colored that. That's okay. We can take some white afterwards and, and help it to bring out some... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do in both. Bring out some <sighs> some white. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay. That's the eyelid. Eyelid. You see, uh, make as well a little note that I'm not really joining anything here too much, you know. It's like, I don't know, I just find that more professional looking, if I can tell. I'm going to grab some of the gifts that I got. Those are graphics, uh, those are from Der Dervent Graphics. And I hope to maybe use this a little bit. Maybe. Especially when doing some delicate lines, maybe. Like that. You see, I don't do this. I don't do this. I hope you can see that. That I'm like, you know, making lines like this. They, it's more softened there. It's like you can go over things. It looks more natural, natural, you know. So. And if you're trying for the first time, well done. Well done. Um, 
the worst is to start, the worst is to try, the worst is to give yourself a permission to actually do it. So I'm delighted that you're here with me doing some art journaling, drawing, face drawing. It's a beginner course really today. It's just, I don't know, it's it's something small for you. Have a few minutes for yourself really. Now when we add some, uh, <coughs> when we will add some some, little, some hair to her, she will be prettier, much more pretty. And the eyelashes always changes as well. Now we can do a little bit on her chin here, on her. Mm. I wonder if I be coloring her, and if I will, what kind of color should I go for? Now, what kind of hair? Hmm. <laughs> Every girl looks different when you add some hair to her, you know? So, <clears throat> oh, look at her. Pretty. I love it. I wonder how my um, skills, well not skills really, but probably I should say a vision or a feeling or my abilities have changed since that time, last time I have, you know, around the head you can clean it off. Uh, I wonder how it changed. The, will I apply some kind of different hand to that drawing? Because I already feel it's different. I, I applied it a little different, so... I love her. I love her even if she stays like that, do nothing, and enjoy herself being this pretty. I love that. Even like that. I think I think she's gorgeous. She really is gorgeous. <laughs> she's sad. And I'm not sad. I don't know why you're sad, girl, but... It's up to, you know, it's your choice to be sad here today. Uh, or maybe we can make you... Well, I think the eyes are <laughs> kind of sad. <laughs> our, next, uh, our next step will be to do some eyelashes. And now, yet again, I'll show you. Instead of doing eyelashes, let's say, like this. You know? That's kind of not okay. You tr may try to do this motion of harder and up and like this let me show you now I'm not an expert but this is like kind of what helps me to to understand it and it's kind of not a line really not like this you know not a line but more like a wobbly line you know look at your eyelashes they're not straight they're not like that they're more like this so you know then maybe in the middle kind of more straight and then so I'm going from from like this half of my eye will be like this side and this half of my eye will have eyelashes going more like at this direction I hope that makes sense same for downstairs for I mean under <laughs> for downstairs yeah so let's see if I'm if I can because I probably am taking your um, you, you probably cannot see much Oh, aren't you just gorgeous, girl? Wow. Uh, what direction I'm going? Kind of wrong, but that's okay. It, you know, actually Hannah has very wonky eyelashes after Lucas. So, you know, if you find, find some wonkier looking eyelashes, that's okay. So I have a bit longer there as well. I love it. You are so stunning, like... Um, I think I'm overdoing <laughs> eyelashes. I watch too much, too many makeup tutorials. I love makeup tutorials. I would love to make my own makeup tutorials, <laughs> actually. Uh, but yeah, I just you know I just love watching it. So, and I do watch it a lot, pretty a lot. Uh, definitely more makeup tutorial than art tutorials. And I told you this why I don't watch art tutorials. I just don't want to. Uh, be too much inspired by others work uh, I rather try to complete my own and just feel good with my own uh, makings you know what you think isn't she just gorgeous so I think she's gorgeous so I'm gonna sneak peek her on my Instagram I think because she's gorgeous just the way as she is right now 
I just looked uh, at my other four uh, tutorials and I know what's the difference between this one and the other one. The other one I, I try to make more realistic where the eye meets the eyelid here, the, the, bother one, the, top, the bottom one, where I didn't do it. It's, she's more whimsical, more sad, more, you know, so uh, a bit different because uh, I just looked and I said, wow, she looks so different to my, uh, the, the one tutorial that I love of mine. Let me show you which one I'm talking about. It's this one that I absolutely adore. I really, really love it. I'll give you links at the end of it. So she looks very different, you know. Of course, it's a face, so <laughs> it's a face. She has nose and all, but she is looking very different. Her uh, eyebrows are actually very straight, which here, uh, if you, which here she is having eyebrows more up, more like, you know, up higher, like roundier, roundier in comparison, uh, you know, so you can see how different we could finish things. Let me just put the camera back on. Uh, so yes, yes, just a, just a little thing too for you and same for her eyes. Oh, sorry, you maybe didn't see the eyes. So the eyes are joined, you know, the... I just want you to see it properly. So her eyes are joined with the eyelid on the top, on the bottom. You see, that's the difference between this girl and this one, uh, which she looks maybe that's why a bit sadder. But that's okay. I love her the way she is, and you know, that's what she is. That's what she is. I'm definitely gonna make a sneak peek on on my Instagram in a second. Uh, I am, what I love to do as well is make this kind of hair look more natural in here. So like, um, so if some hair is stick, sticking out in, in anywhere, that's awesome. You know, that's fine. That's fine. Wow. She's very pretty. Very pretty. Back to you. I have gorgeous, gorgeous rice papers. Have a look at those. I have them in the shop as well, maramismallart.com if you wish to have a look. Gorgeous, gorgeous roses. It's a rice paper that I really wish to use on her hair. On her hair? <laughs> on her head. I think it will be gorgeous. I just don't know which one to choose and I think they all would match and look pretty. But I feel that I really wish to add some, maybe this one actually. I just feel that I wish to wish to add something to her face, to her head like that. So um, what's br great about um, rice paper is that you, you, it's, it's forgiving and you can really, if it's white background, you can really add it anywhere. And you don't need to use scissors, you can just use your fingers like I do now, your hands. And it's very forgiving because, uh, oh, to make it easier as well, let me show you what you could do. You grab your brush and you just go Oops, that's black, dark, dark, but that's okay. And it's just easier to rip it off. It's definitely better with the napkin because rice paper is much thicker, but it, it would help. I don't uh, do that because I just, I, I'm okay with the way it is, like now, I'm fine. And if you even, if you squash it, that's okay because rice paper has them elements kind of, uh, you know, visible. Um, it's okay. It's basically fine. Uh, it will stretch as well while you start gluing down. So nothing to be stressed about. And it's much easier for me this, this way, basically. Okay. We have one rose ready. Do you know, it, maybe I'm wrong and maybe it won't match, but at least I'll see. So I'm gonna grab one more smaller one. And in my shop, as you uh, will walk in to my shop, not walk in, it's internet shop, but if you be browsing it, uh, there is many, many sets of rice paper. So you can have a look and find something for yourself. Of course, links are gonna be added at the end of this video, so you can have a look. Okay. I think it will be pretty bad. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe that's even t too much. Maybe that's even too big, this one. Because I don't want to lose her uh, beauty of... Um, oh, I know! Look! She's gonna be like this, like uh, as if she has the... the... Uh, the crown, the flowery crown. You know, like flowery crown? I don't know in English, is it flowery crown? I think so. If I get rid of that... Oh, look. So this could stand out, this could be here, wow, 
Isn't she just so pretty? She is so pretty. Okay, she will have a flowery crown and I'm gonna finish off the, the, the hair just like that. I think so. I definitely think so. I think I'm gonna need a slightly more at this of a rip, ripping further away. Now if you don't have uh, rice paper uh, you can definitely use any kind of magazine flowers that you find. You could use, um, draw it as well. You can draw your flowers absolutely. I feel that this one is a bit too much for my liking. So I'm gonna just get rid of that slightly like this because I really wish to keep her eyes being visible not I just try to paint them uh, draw them so beautifully that I don't want to lose it you know okay how is that I think that's gorgeous a bit is it or I know actually I know it would be better if I use some other rows so it wouldn't be that too equalish looking I think so you know I think so I'm gonna grab maybe this one no this one looks very similar uh -huh. this one that's water <laughs> and Lucas with his potatoes so we're gonna have potatoes today actually Lucas we meant to have the Ogurki uh, in Śmietana, the cucumbers in sour cream, which is called in Poland, um, what's it called in Polish? Miserie uh, mieliśmy mieć. Cucumbers in sour cream, I forgot. Um, because Lucas asked me if I make a sa salad, like, like you know, raw vegetable salad, like, like lettuce and cucumbers and stuff, and peppers and things. I said sure but now it just came to my mind that we meant to do the other thing. Let's see if I'm correct in my kind of feeling towards the girl that she could have it she could have it slightly like different types of roses. Maybe that will just look better. Better better. What about if I use the yellow one as well? Oh you know what? yellow or mm, not yellow actually I'm gonna use this one this one I think it will be because yellow will be standing out a bit too much in the color like pretty I know but this could be prettier because it, they all in pinks yet they're not the same so I think it'd be gorgeous I, I have so many beautiful papers in the shop that I hope to keep on creating some projects with them. My probably recent years um, favorite product to be used is actually rice paper. So mm, I love it. I really love it. And I hope, well, uh, not hope, I know I will because <laughs> I already have them but um, I shouldn't be saying because nothing is official yet but I hope by the time you're watching this video it will be uh, so Maremi has my own uh, rice paper so you can have it in the look in the shop as well with my own watercolor paintings there are some uh, rice paper sets not only sets I think well I don't know you see because I'm talking to you, it's not in the shop yet so I don't know but I'm I'm thinking either we'll have sets of uh, rice paper or uh, not only sets but singular pages as well so have a look have a look so Marami Small Art has her her own uh, different style um, rice papers with her own drawings with my own drawings I'm very happy about that okay I'm not too sure how to how to go about it because they are kind of all over each other <clears throat> but you have to we have to we have to try it and see because hmm. the idea of uh, a, a, like a, a crown it stick to my head so much that I cannot take it away differently now <clears throat> oh, cooking is happening <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing but oh look that's nice let's just do it guys it's not mathematics we not have to we don't have to be very pro, 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 uh, precise here we don't so I'm gonna glue it down with my uh, as you know I often use it uh, I'm gonna glue it down with my transparent gesso I love using transparent gesso for my for my um, 
for my rice paper. Okay. If you're using my charcoal pen and um, charcoal pencil as I used, be careful because it will smudge. So mind that. It will smudge, but that's I don't mind that. I go around it trying not to smudge it. She is so pretty. I think she is so absolutely what about if I just leave it like that? Wow, okay. Okay, what you think guys? And you know what? Is it too late? Is it too late to say sorry? Let's see. Two seconds. Where's my... Where's my... Where's my... Yeah. It's okay. I rather have it uh, uh, brown than black underneath it. You know? There we go. Much better. Wow. Maybe that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just go. I'm just gonna leave her with this because she is just stunning like that. Oh, isn't it? You are a girl from woods. <laughs> Wow, look at her. Isn't she just gorgeous? I think she's gorgeous. It's like a yeah, I think she's so pretty like that. I'm going to I'm sorry for all the wrapping wrapping down the uh, t tons of rice paper. I just think this is gorgeous like that and I want to keep her this way. Yeah, I'm not going to add anything any more. I'm sorry. <laughs> but maybe next time, if I find it more courage to keep on uh, paint, drawing faces, you have to tell me if you enjoy drawing face by me. If it's nice to be back to the subject. Um, you see the you guys are changing as well as I am and different people are joining the channel so I regularly ask for what content you wish to see so I always love to hear your opinions hear your favorites hear what you really love about the challenge channel <laughs> challenge <laughs> about the channel about what I do what I say how or what I use how I do things so yeah it's very much important to me uh, it's it's hugely important to me let's let's be honest now what we're gonna do with her hair then? What kind of medium we're gonna use to paint it, to color it? Mm, to be honest, I'm very tempted to use my Inktense pencils, uh, which are here. Inktense pencils. Those are very, uh, mm, uh, those are very pigmented pencils. I absolutely love them. My two favorite colors are. Let me show you. Dun -dun -dun. My new favorite is Baked Earth. It's like this kind of brownie. But my total favorite it's Bark 2000. It's like OM. It's amazing. And this uh, a Baked Earth is 1800, and 2000 is Bark. As you can see, I used it quite a lot. It's for shading, shadowing. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use my ink tents for now at least to see. But instead of going directly on that, uh, directly on my, I think all my little jars are empty, uh, are dirty, no water and all. <laughs> um, let me just do that. And you know what? I, I didn't post my Instagram sneak peek yet, but I'm gonna make a new sneak peek with this rose actually, isn't it? Instead of going directly with my brush, with my uh, pencil, sorry, with my ink tens, what I will do is I'm gonna just grab some uh, some pigment on my brush and I will gently start adding the color. Ooh, see? Gently adding the color here and there. There we go. <laughs> So, now you probably hear that Lucas is doing the dishes. Uh, well, that's true. He does them recently <laughs> because I said, Lucas, my my na nails are keep on uh, getting uh, kind of destroyed, and I said maybe it's because I w wash do the dishes too often. <laughs> so I said, why don't we try for a week, and I won't do the dishes. And you know what? Um, actually, my nails are equally bad, but. Um, now we see how much washing it is actually, dishwashing, it's a lot of work actually, that's one thing. And one more thing what I realized is that, um, yeah, well, 
no, I lost the plot, sorry, I wanted to <laughs> say something else uh, about the dishes and oh yeah, I know what I want to say we have the dishwasher, but we don't use it, it's a brand new dishwasher we don't use it because we have solar panels in the house um, when we bought it, the house was coming with uh, solar panels when we were um, deciding for it and we like that idea, so yeah <laughs> So we could technically use a uh, dishwasher, but we have hot water from solars, solar panels, so why not to use it that way? Uh, I don't know what's more actually eco-friendly, uh, eco to be honest. I would have to think about that, because we are very in into eco-friendly uh, these days with Lucas. We do all the, um, all the um, recycling and all. And to be honest, even when we pack for the shop, we try to recycle as much as we can of the foil and things. Repack, resend to people similar things because we just don't want to produce so much. But sometimes you can't avoid it, of course. But we try really hard to be eco-friendly. And I have to say it's Lucas that um, was very much f about it. And I wasn't because I said, oh, who's going to have time for that? Or where are we going to keep it and all? And yeah, he was just uh, persistent about it. And I'm very grateful because I love the idea now of being, um, of of just looking after the, the, the you know, the our planet, basically. So... I love it. Mm, hello. Hello, girl. <laughs> I think she's very pretty. And that back color is just gorgeous. Isn't it? Even more. Even more. So just a little bit of pigment. And look how things change dramatically. Isn't it? They really do change a lot. I do believe that you can do it same way as I am doing right, right now. You can really try your hand at drawing, doodling, sketching, like I did. I'm not, you know, I don't have much experience in it. Um, oops, oops. <laughs> I probably have um, willingness, love for it, and need to, you know, try different things. That's for sure. But I think you can grab that drive as I am grabbing it. You can dr grab it and just... You know, try to do what I do and maybe you will just feel similar about it. I love it. And you know what I'm thinking? That it would be amazing if we could somehow... Now, firstly, we need to fix her beautiful eyebrows. I love her. It's like, I think in Japan, ladies are having this more straight eyebrows, I think. Um, so I think I'm gonna just probably... Col well, I colored with one color only like this. That would be crazy, but why not, you know? Okay. She is gorgeous. So I already can see that things have changed in my pr 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 perspective of... I'm constantly doing splashes all over her. Sorry, if I'm not sure if you see it. <laughs> but if I'm doing like this by accident, I splash the splashes. But you know what? I really don't mind if she gets the splashes on. That's fine. I will be probably doing splashes at the end anyway. So I think the love for watercolor kind of comes out here as well because I... Oh, that's a lot of pigment, a lot of water. Because I kind of do things now... Um, Waterish kind of way, watercolorish way. I think, am I right? You correct me if I'm not, but I think you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So yes, don't think that Lucas is uh, keep on, uh, keep on um, being, you know, in the house and uh, do all the chores, and I don't do that. Is we just have a pact for a week to see how no washing dishes will help improve my <laughs> my nails so but it doesn't really do much a bit yeah a bit definitely because I don't use that much water on my hands anymore but it's not as spectacular as I was hoping for to be very honest oh you are gorgeous girl you are just amazing amazing So you see I'm just playing with one ink tens and you can use any color. Imagine that you go for a, a color that is red or blue and do all of the, them in one color. 
you know, oh, I splashed it, that's okay, let's grab quickly a tissue. Tissue, where are you? Tissue, we need you. Emergency tissue, quickly. Thank God it didn't fall into her uh, eye eye, like, it would be a big disaster then. So be careful, guys, when you're doing this technique, because my ink tense is all wet now. There we go. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Maybe I could even do like this. Um, water. Splash fish. I'm holding my brush. In. Oh, tricky. That's okay. Why not? Why not? So a little bit of splashy splash. Ooh, and we have some... <laughs> something went there. That's okay. I can clean it off easily. Okay. Now, hello there. We need to move the ink here as well. Oh, she is just spectacular. Well, a huge favor to ask you. Please, please share her. Share that on your social media, on your Facebook, on your Instagram. Oh, actually, I watch Maremi. Imagine this back to the same hashtag, I watch Maremi. Uh, if you are watching it, you can show me where you're watching it. Is it on the treadmill? Is it on the couch? On the big telly? Make a screenshot. Uh, uh, at whatever point of this video tutorial and show me and, and tag me on the Instagram I watch Maremi uh, I think it would be just fun to do that don't you think? and to see where you're watching and that you are watching and sharing you know tagging me and mentioning that this is this is YouTube video from Marta from Maremi so that would be just amazing and I love the fact that I am out of my comfort zone that my project turned out to be something I haven't imagined and that's great that is like wow okay she is stunning isn't she as in physical lady she's stunning I think she is very stunning I could probably have her hair here as well but that's okay I really don't mind is it a bit too much of a pigment there I can always grab a tissue and just you know clean it off and whatever I just cleaned it and I'm back again. <laughs> That's just artist life, isn't it? Oh, she's gorgeous. I love that piece, two bits, so much, so much, so much. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna try to kind of do the hairy hairs. Hairy hairs, that makes no sense Marta you know like kind of that she has some baby hairs around her that kind of way oh you are beautiful girl you are gorgeous so gorgeous so wow she's stunning gorgeous so you are I watch Marami guys where are you watching I wonder where you're watching or the best would be if you play the video make a photo of you actually sketching and drawing or maybe you do some other project while you watch my videos and my silly chitty chats so that would be great anyway let's finish off this lady she's stunning oh um, wow I love it so much she is gorgeous Oh well, we have to do some kind of lips. <gasps> Look how this changed radically. Isn't it? Oh, she's beautiful. She is gorgeous. You know what? Even if you say that, no, Marta, go back to your old, your regular uh, videos, I'm going to be back to this for sure because I really enjoyed how she came to life, you know? It's gorgeous to see how a person like that person, you know, a creature, <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but it comes to life and it makes such a difference, you know. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I, I, I'm so afraid to actually destroy her in any way. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just try to have a little touches of this ink tense around here and there, just so this wouldn't feel so much standing out, out of her hair. You know? Oh my. I love that so much. Hello. Okay. 
Now, I'm going to try to make the splashes. How I did it? Oh, there we go. But I'm going to hide her e uh, ears. No, hide her face, uh, her eyes. Two seconds. Her eyes. We're going to hide her eyes. And maybe I'm going to hide a little bit of that. Yeah. So. Oh. There we go. So I'm just rubbing it from kind of the... Why not? I love the idea of pigment being so dark, dark so pigmented, that the splashes are nice as well. Actually, the rose could be splashed too, isn't it? Wow. Hello! Oh wow! <laughs> that was a big splash! Imagine this going on her <laughs> face! Okay, that's it. Let's clean off that ink tense. You are loved, my dear. Okay. Woohoo! Oh, she's just phenomenal! Phenomenal is the right word. Uh, I'm gonna use something else. One more thing is, or two more things, is to make sure that she has the white in here because that gives the depth, you know, to your eyes, to her eyes. That gives the depth for sure. And as well, sometimes it's nice to maybe do lines like that. You know, this kind of way. She's so pretty. And I also have... Dun, 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 dun. Now, um, as I said, while I'm recording this, nothing is official yet, so the stickers or anything is not yet, not, not in the shop, my own new stickers, but uh, check this shop, maybe when you're watching it, it is in the shop, probably it is, because I will wait with it until it's there, so yeah, check the shop, it should be there, new products should be there, are you wearing a confidence, <laughs> Messi, are you? So I think we can, we can title her somewhere how and where imagine this are you wearing a confidence to have a title on your forehead no probably that's a bit too much isn't it <laughs> yeah but maybe here would be nice are you wearing a confidence hi how are ya i love you okay uh, lucas is gone and he's i don't know if um, i think uh, by the way <laughs> Uh, uh, all the um, peeling potatoes and wash, uh, washing dishes is actually uh, relaxing us. Do you find it like that as well? I know people hate uh, chores, home chores, but I find it that um, it is relaxing me. The dishes always relax me and peeling potatoes for Lucas is relaxing him. He always says that because I said, oh, come on, we do the rice or the pasta. And he goes, no, I like the peeling potatoes. I said, okay, fine. <laughs> so what we have here, there's actually, guys, there's actually eight different sets of stickers this was this is only one there's seven more smiling again sit and listen to the world stay with me are you here are you wearing a confidence don't stop until you are proud stay strong stronger than ever don't worry I'm here don't be afraid to quit don't be scared start something new these are all kind of they're doubled there's twice different uh, writing they are more for grabbing your confidence it's like motivational and everything was in my head to kind of motivate you to create to to enjoy life to be uh, you know to be to be present to be there you can you should if you start you will you be proud be present be intuitive be prepared be happy be brave be yourself and be kind absolutely love that really really love that I'm so proud actually of the the sayings the stickers and I was uh, collecting all of that over a year to actually put it all in the sticker so stronger than ever I think it's perfect now if you find that something is maybe too long for you you can always cut it shorter and I think that's what I'm gonna do with this one so I will cut it a bit shorter mm -hmm. there we go are you wearing a confident confidence stronger than ever maybe here stronger than ever I love it I know that we should do in two in trees fives not hmm okay I do third one as well stronger than ever <clears throat> be yourself and that will be 
that would be awesome to put it there as well and I make it shorter too actually this time because I really wish to make sure that her face is more standing out than the stickers themselves but I love stickers I'm, I'm so happy to have them in the line I really love using them always have and I probably will keep on using them because it's just I don't know something special about it so of course links to all of that will be at the end of the video yeah I think by the time I post this video I lost my inkness. Oh, I think by the time I post it, it will be it will be all official. But anyways, why don't you grab? Uh, why don't you follow my social media, my Instagram and Facebook? You will definitely be informed there. Plenty things I say there, you know, or show there, because not everything I'm able to show on on, on YouTube right away. So sometimes sneak peeks, not sometimes always, <laughs> sneak peeks are there. So I love that. And now I'm adding the shading a little bit here and there, here and there, you know, just so it's not kind of standing out too much. I love the idea, actually funny enough, that um, the, all the writing is not black. It looks black, but it's not. It's actually very intense color like this one, like back color of my, of my um, writing. I just love that. The idea that it's not black and it's not white background either on that sticker. So, you know. Just something little for you to know. Something little for you to know. I guess the way I made everything was really for you to have um, easiness of using it and for me to have things that I missed always, always wanted to have and enjoy the most. So that's kind of a combination, I guess. So I really hope you will enjoy the new products, the new papers that are just... <sighs> I'm actually, I, I'm so excited to share it. I cannot wait to share it all, but I'm also scared how it's going to be, you know, accepted, taken into and all. So that's always a little bit of, a little bit of <laughs> stress, of course, as you can imagine. Now, how about a little bit here as well? Just a little bit. And I think, guys, we can call this done and dusted and finished and all and wow, wow, wow. I love you. You are so beautiful and so different. So, I think we can call this done and dusted <sighs> on the cornflakes. Why not? Thank you so much, everyone, for watching, for being here with me, for always commenting, for always uh, being part of my channel, for watching, you know, for watching and for trying, because that's the main thing for me, that you are trying. Be creative with me. Uh, I need that. I need you to uh, be part of and to try because if I just do it for myself that's grand but the most I'm just redoing my eyelashes to make it darker I just really take a large uh, pleasure from knowing that you are actually doing it you know that you are so um, inspired that you are trying yourself I love that always did so I'm glad if that's the case so I watch Maremi <laughs> Hashtag I watch Maremi. Let's let's meet on Instagram and see where you watching it, and if you are actually creating with me. I'm just redoing eyelashes because I think they could be slightly more girly, girly, and more visible. She is so stunning, so beautiful that she, why not? She can be. She may as well be even prettier, isn't it? I just it's everything is wet, so I don't want to. I don't want to make any splashes right now. Or anything so wow you are stunning I think the left eye is bigger than the right one but it's okay <laughs> that's okay okay one last thing maybe when is there the right moment to stop that's the worst when you make a project isn't it I think that's it so Thank you so much guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I really hope it was inspirational and if it was let me know in the comment section down below. Always love reading your comments and feel free to check the shop for new things. I'm looking forward to hearing from you and I'll talk to you very soon. I love you. Bye!